We have new numbers on how the opioid epidemic worsened early in the COVID pandemic. Statewide from 2020 to 2021, we saw a 14% increase in opioid overdose deaths. And then looking specifically at fentanyl and other non heroin overdoses, you can see ER visits were up by 30% from 2020 to 2021. The Western New York Prevention Resource Center is on the forefront in trying to stem the tide of opioid addiction and overdose deaths. And they have a new public service announcement, which they say is crafted to try to prevent addictions before they start. As we hear tonight from Channel 2's Dave McKinley. Our numbers are not good. The Western New York Prevention Resources Center says after seeing a decline, overdose deaths in the region are rising again. They were joined by Erie County's opioid program director. We have 213 confirmed deaths. This is for 2022. 2023 we have not confirmed yet. And we still have 95 that are pending. So those numbers are going to be higher. We're probably going to be over 300 next over last year. The National Institutes of Health claims that 75% of addictions are starting with opioid medications, either prescribed by a doctor or taken without authorization. The danger lies when users who get hooked on them run out of prescriptions or access to them and then sometimes turn to drugs like heroin, which when laced with fentanyl can be deadly. And there's something else at play. Well, I feel like we've always been told to not question our doctors. The new PSA produced by the Western New York Prevention Resources Center doesn't tell you not to follow doctor's orders, but encourages you to ask questions and features an MD board certified in addiction medicine. Before you are prescribed a medication, talk to your doctor. Be sure to ask what are the risks with this medication? What are potential side effects? The doctor seen in the PSA joined the group today to say you should also be asking your doctor if an opioid medication is really necessary or are there alternatives and the doctor should be asking certain questions of you. I'd want the doctor to ask me if I have a personal or family history of substance use disorder with alcohol or other drugs. Uh, that is a key risk factor. The PSA also features former UB football player Alex Newts, who developed an addiction to pain medication following an injury. I really had no idea of the true danger of addiction, and that's definitely something I wish I would have known about before taking that first pill. If we question our doctors, we're actually becoming more educated, so we know the risks personally, and we just don't take everything at face value. All right, Dave joins us now. So, of course, this is a multifaceted problem, right? They could have gone a number of different ways in terms of their messaging for this. Um, why did they feel this was the most effective way to, to move forward with this? Yeah, I did ask about that, Michael, and they've done previous messaging about the importance of securing prescription meds to keep them from falling into the wrong hands. And while that is still an element of this particular PSA, they felt they'd already banged that drum. They also shared with me that so-called scare ads like the ones you see of someone dying of lung cancer because they smoked are not effective when it comes to trying and curbing opioid addiction. And they showed this one on the big screen where they had the event today. Yeah, that was at the North Park Theater. Yeah. And uh, I had asked, well, why here? Uh, I didn't get a clear. I thought they were going to start showing this at movie theaters. Yeah. You know, like when you go to the movies, this PSA comes up. Yeah. Uh, they said there's no plans to do it. They'd love to get it into the theaters, but they have no plans. They're hoping local television stations will add it to their roster of public service announcements with radio stations as well. Yeah. All right. Dave McKinley reporting. Dave, thank you very much.